The bond between humans and dogs is built on centuries of trust, affection, and play. Dogs, of course, have natural instincts that have been influenced by humans over generations to help them with agriculture work. So herding dogs keep a group of sheep or cattle in check. Turns out there are actually local farms training dogs with this skill to herd. News 6 Insider Guy Crystal Moyer joins us now. Crystal, we have to admit we all found out about this because of one certain dog in our News 6 family. That's right. It was all word of mouth. Actually, Julie brought up the unique activity to anchor Ginger Gadsden, who was a who has a large pup with tons of energy. This is Finn Henry. Finn is a sheep -a doodle He's two years old, and we walk him twice a day, and they're long, long walks, and he gets playtime in the yard, and he loves it, but he still has tons of energy at the end of the day. News 6 anchor Ginger Gadsden says early on she noticed Finn had certain characteristics. We're the first two to get up in the house, and it's like 5.30 in the morning, and he's nudging me to the kitchen. He nudges me to the back door so he can be let out. Every room where I go, he's behind me doing his headbutt. After a bit of research, Ginger says she found out Finn was actually showing traits of herding. To get the pup in his element, she took him to Linden Hollow Sheep Farm in St. Cloud. Sometimes he can be a little wild, and he's never been around sheep before, so I'm like, he's going to see these sheep. He's going to want to chase them and make maybe have them for lunch or something. I don't know what's going to happen, but thank goodness they're trained. That's where Natalie Cole comes in. Here. Here. Go ahead. Here. She's one of the trainers here at the farm. Her grandmother experienced in canine competitions, specializing in sheepdog events. Herding is a type of hunting, but it's more of a gather. You train on their instinct, their prey drive. With several animals, including a flock of sheep on property, Cole invites dog owners with herding instincts like Finn Good. to learn how to gather the bunch. We'll start them in the round pen, you know, we'll start them on a long line, we'll teach them to go around the sheep gently, uh, bring the sheep into us and all that good stuff. Then we just shape and mold for the other things that we want to teach them to do. After a couple of classes, Finn is right at home. I'm so proud of the way he handled himself and how he just knew what to do instinctively because it's in his DNA. As Ginger and Finn are learning, it's not just physical but mental work wrangling the sheep. The dog has to learn to pay attention to us and what we're asking of them and they have to learn to pay attention to the stock. They have to learn how to dial back their prey drive um, so that they can do that without harming anything. Cole and her grandmother using different whistling noises <whistles> to give commands to the dog. We have a whistle for a come by, we have a whistle for an away, then we have a whistle for walk up, lie down, um, those are all the directions that we use. Watching Finn do his thing, Ginger says she's a proud dog mom. And I love showing the video, especially the slow-mo action shot. Here it is. Finn is taking charge, herding the sheep around the farm. Ginger saying he's showing all the signs that he is enjoying this new hobby. It was a smile with a tongue hanging out, and he was exhausted. I tell you, people <laughs> love to brag about their dogs. I know I do. <laughs> I'm going to post some information on how you can sign your dog up for lessons on clickorlando.com slash insider. Keep in mind, they do only accept certain breeds to keep the dog and the animals safe, as you can imagine, ladies. Mm -hmm. I remember the day that Ginger called to inquire about this. We couldn't stop <laughs> laughing because Natalie told her, we'll bring him in and we'll do a test to, quote, see if he's interested. And right. she was like, oh, he's interested. He's interested. <laughs> yeah. But we'll do the test. But he's doing such a good job. I'm such a proud dog ant. That's really a great idea, especially with those dogs that have a lot of energy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, I tell you, whoever owns that farm is really smart because, you know, you pay to yes. get the dogs trained. Yes. You get some herding in yes. <laughs> while you're at it. So they're doing some work. And yeah. the, the sheep farm. could talk. I know, right? Yeah. And the cool thing about all of this, uh, talking with the farm owners, is they were saying, you know, the sheep, they're not scared of the dogs. They respect the dogs. So when the dogs are herding around them, they're just they think they need to get away, mm -hmm. and that's how they kind of stay together. And if one, you know, kind of walks off, then the dog has to go and wrangle right. them in. So it's just really cool to see. It's not something that you would normally expect here in Central Florida. Yeah, I can't wait to go see in person. Invite myself for one of the lessons. <laughs> How would Jake do with that? Yeah, um, he would just want them to throw a ball. He he is a golden doodle. He does not have a herding instinct at all. He has a snuggling instinct and a retrieving instinct. So yeah. he can watch. He can't participate. Nala will be watching too in the shade. <laughs> exactly. She won't be hurting anything. No. Thanks, Crystal. <laughs>